if you see this image and you're like those are the worst lightsabers ever then you might not like this video but if you kind of like the way these lightsabers look then stick around because you are going to learn how to make them hey yo my name is matt and today we're going to be going step by step walking through how i make my lightsabers in photoshop every time i post something about lightsabers and editing I always get a bunch of people commenting like different ways they do them or better ways or faster ways or whatever. And yeah, some of them might be better. Some of them might be faster, but I really like how I do them. And so let's jump into the computer and make them. And so what we're going to do is open up a new layer. I'm just going to put that on top to look better. And let's call it lightsabers. So what I'm going to do is use the brush tool, uh, just the generic hard one. And I do like it kind of small. I want to make it white first of all. Like I think in my other one, I had it kind of thick, but what I learned is I like it thinner because it's going, you're gonna blur it and so it's gonna get bigger anyway. So for this first one, I usually just eyeball it, make sure everything, the flow and opacity is at 100. I like to start on the hilt and then just kind of go down and then hold shift and click. So this one's a little tricky because I have this Ahsoka with a curved blade and so I feel like it kind of, it can look off but I mean, we're just gonna line it up and, and this is where you can be as good as you wanna be and like as detailed or whatever. I'm just gonna show you the main like formula, I guess, that I use and then you take it from there. So that's how I made the straight line brush tool. I kind of align it how I want to. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit. Go down, I'm gonna angle a little more, bring it in, up a little higher, and like I said, it's kind of tricky because it's crooked and so I feel like it's throwing me off. It might even be more down, but we'll just go with that for now. So I have this, I might even, sometimes I like it even thinner than this, but I think that's okay. So it's just a white line and there's a bunch of different ways to do a white line. Just like with a dark saber, I drew it using a tool. Um, you can, I don't know, there's a bunch of ways to do a line, but using a white line. So what we're gonna do, um, I'm just gonna copy that on my Mac is command J. And then since it's already a nice straight line, I'm just gonna put it behind her. So when I, after I took this picture, I realized I didn't really like how this lined up. Like it's kind of too close to each other, but whatever. So this is like a bonus tutorial because it's like, how do I get this effect behind Ahsoka? So this one's even trickier because it's like behind at an angle, um, whatever, okay. Maybe a little more out. Remember, it's gonna be blurred, so it's gonna be hard to see anyway. Nah, it's gotta be more in. Okay. I think this could be tilted more, actually. Okay, so with that, I'm going to go to my eraser. So before I make any other copies or anything, Eraser 100 100. It's kind of a big eraser just so I can get it kind of straight but not perfectly straight And I'm just gonna line it up with their head and boom a Little more boom. So I got this this line right here Now I'm gonna go up to this top one Same thing. And I'm just eyeballing it. There might be a, a cleaner way to do this, but like I said, we're blurring everything and so You just got to get it a little close Okay, so now that we have both of those, both of the sabers set, I'm going to, so if you're just doing one saber, 
you just need to do one line, obviously, but this is two sabers, two lines. So what I'm gonna do is combine these. So it's just one lightsaber layer. I'm just gonna get rid of this word copy. Okay, so now this file is for both of these sabers. And so I'm gonna make a copy six times. So command J, one, two, three, four, five, six. So here's the, the cool part is we're going to do a filter on the top layer. So lightsabers copy six. I'm gonna go to blur and Gaussian blur. I'm gonna set it to 200. And then go to the next one, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So on lightsabers, copy five, uh, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. But uh, to speed it up a little bit, you can do control, option, command, F. And so what that does is applies or goes straight to the, fil to the filter that you just previously used with the exact same amount as well. So we're not doing 200 again, we're doing 100. So now down to copy four to 50. So you can see that it's getting, it's starting out like a wide blur and it's getting tighter. That's gonna make the, the lights. Uh, so copy three, so not, not in half, but we're gonna do 40. Now we're gonna go back to half and we're gonna do 20 pixels and then half again, half again. We're gonna do 10 and then this one, not half, it's gonna be four, four pixels. So here we're gonna combine six through two. So you just, I just shift clicked and got all of those ones. And then to combine them like we did before, command E and so here's where you can be like tricky. If you made this into an action, which is pretty smart to do, you can uh, set this as a smart object so that way you can go back and change the color if you want. Um, but I'm not showing that right now. I'm just going through the basic process. So only on, only on this top one, not these ones, I'm going to go to adjustments, hue saturation, colorize, click this box, maximum saturation. And then here, oh, actually, hold on, wait. So before I do that, I'm gonna set this to screen. You can do it afterward too, but I like to do it before because you can see the color better. Okay, so screen is going to like eliminate like what the white part shows or uh, like underneath it. So, uh, so hue saturation again, colorize, maximum saturation, and then boom, you wanna give Ahsoka red lightsabers. Um, and then I, I decrease the lightness a little bit. So right now it's set to red, the hue is zero, but uh, just some quick, we're gonna change it, but just real quick, like for red lightsabers, I usually do the zero, it's easy. For green, I kinda have it around 100. I think for most characters, that's about, you know, Star Wars green. And then for blue, I feel like there's a few different kinds of blues out there. Um, for like this Ahsoka, I feel like 190, but then I know I've done like Obi-Wan around 200, maybe Anakin too. So we're gonna do 190 with Ahsoka. I feel like hers are a little off blue or light blue, I mean, I don't know. But you can do whatever you want. You wanna give her, like, so if you wanna give her the white ones already, then you don't need saturation. And it's kind of like, that's kind of it. But boom, we're giving her blue. I'll set this to 190. And then even the lightness, depending on the color, it can make a difference. Um, or like the image behind it too. Like if the image is, I think, brighter, it's better to go lower. But if it's darker, you don't have to go as light, something like that. But yeah, just mess around with it. In between, anywhere between negative 30 and negative 40 is usually good. So, Let's just stick with that. And so, so what I do like to do with this layer is copy it. So it's just copying the blue. So it just makes it pop a little bit more. And it's only the color. So like when you, if I take these like these parts out, you can see it's just the color there and then the white parts are underneath. Even with this last layer, like that looks kind of cool too. 
but I like to have this this lat this uh that's the pixel four that's you know that more definitive white line because when you think of lightsabers you might think of it's just blue but it's not it's like white and like mainly white but it gives the color on the outside so now that we have all that I just highlight them again shift click and then combine them again command E and so it's gonna go back to normal but we're gonna set it back to screen again so one finishing touch I like to do is select this layer and go to render filter render and then lens flare and right here I, I think I've used different ones before but I really like this one and you can see on the image that what it's gonna do like so if this was just a regular image it would have like have this huge flare but because it's only the lightsaber uh, selected it's only gonna show like on the lightsaber part. So I, I like to put it near the hilt of the saber and it's gonna give kind of a glow. And once again, this this depends. I've, I've done 100%, I've done 50%. Let's just do 60 just to show it. So you can see it's, it's a very subtle little add-on, but I kind of like that, how it blends into like the color of the saber. And so because there's two sabers, we have to do this twice. So uh, I'm gonna do it again. I could just do the repeat effect, but I'll just show you render, lens flare, select this end now. I'm gonna keep it the same just to keep it consistent. And boom, adds a little, little effect. So another thing that I like to add, which I kind of already did on this image, is a little bit of smoke. And I don't do this on every one, every lightsaber, but on you know some of these outside looking grainy images uh, I will do it so I have my smoke brush and then this is where you can be creative with like different effects um, but for now I'm gonna I hold option click to select the color of the saber that's coming out and then did I do this on a new layer yeah so make sure you open a new layer don't do it on your lightsaber layer do it on a new layer and then you can just paint around it so you can see it adding onto it. And so sometimes I'll play around with this as far as like it can, it can, it can look cool on top of the saber, but it could also look cool like behind the saber. So I would just put this layer underneath. So that way the saber stands out more. Um, it's really just down to preference. Uh, just messing around on the same layer. I have like this lightning bolt, like a, I don't know how it's gonna look, but like, this one, usually if it's a wider color, um, you know, you can kind of add that, like, you know, you can be creative with different effects and different brushes. You may have a dust brush to kind of go in there and mix it up. Um, another effect that sometimes I'll do, just depending on the picture, is use like another lens flare. So this is like a lens flare brush I have. And there's different ones I have here but I kind of like to just uh, make this, make shrink this on the size. And then I usually like to do white, but maybe like a little of the, the blue white, and then just put it right at the hilt. And then that you can angle however you want um, to go with like what looks good. Um, for this one, I didn't do that. I just kind of kept it clean and more, I guess, real like, whatever that means. So I still like to mess around with different effects here and there, but as far as like the main, how do I get my blur lightsaber, that's how I do it. And I definitely encourage you to experiment, mess around with different things. Like I said, there's so many different ways to do it. Like people always comment about how this way is faster and better. And like I said, you can go back and rewatch this and start in action and then save some parts as smart objects and you can even go back. I don't wanna get too technical right now with that but like you can do it to where it's just one click and boom it does all the effects for you so definitely try it out mess around with it customize it make it your own and uh tag me in your work if you use uh some of this stuff i love to see it love to see any add-ons or ideas you have and if you have any other questions let me know in the comments to create and inspire peace